In national news, it's been a big week in Sweden. There was a vote of no confidence and our Prime Minister, Stefan Löfven, lost that vote. This is a huge win for Sweden. Stefan was kicked out the last time from his seat as Prime Minister in 2018, but because they feared the Nationalist Party, the Swedish Democrats, a few parties betrayed the constituents and we saw Stefan steal back the Prime Minister chair after being kicked out. Stefan will always be remembered as one of Sweden's worst leaders. Under his leadership, crime has sowed, illegal immigration sowed, Sweden women being raped statistics broke, broke new records, knife, gun and bomb crime, almost unheard of before in Sweden, has taken a foothold. Organized crime gangs are now in the major cities. His solution of starting a task force that offered them pizza to stop committing crimes didn't work. Local crime in every major city has been on a steady increase and higher taxes were always the solution in his government. Stefan's solution is to usually blame the native Swedish people for his failing policies, accusing native Swedes of not doing enough or of being racist when immigrant knife crime, immigrant gun crime and rapes against native Swedish women by immigrants is at an all-time high. Stefan is also seen as a globalist EU puppet bending the Swedish knee on command. If he does resign and new elections are called, it would be a huge shame for him and the Socialist Party as regular elections are just over a year away. People are cheering across social media, the memes should give you an idea of the general mood. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and hit the bell.